Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here. And we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality in a way that is extremely empowering. Speaking of exploring powerful perspectives, I would like to gift my book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance to You at goldenkey.gift, where you can get the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code POSITIVEHEAD at checkout. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome one and all. I am super excited that you've joined me today on what is always another magical today. Today is extra magical because I have Monica Dunn. Wouldn't it be fun with me? I can't help but to call you that, Monica, because you are a super fun and B, that's your saying. And ever since you taught us the saying that that just goes along with your name and that's that's what we call you now monica dunn wouldn't it be fun <laughs> i love it yeah. uh -oh. you guys i think you've heard me talk about this concept before and i've you've heard me say anytime i talk about this concept actually i i say monica dunn wouldn't it be fun whether you're here or not monica i don't know if you know this <laughs> but anytime we talk about the wouldn't it be fun concept you have, you know, famously attached your name to it, or we have famously attached your name to it now, which is super fun. And you guys, I brought Monica on today because she is going to be leading a super fun past life regression workshop during our event that we are hosting together. There are six of us. You've heard me talk about this before. This event that we're doing on August 6th called the Lionsgate Portals to Enlightenment. And there is a group of six of us, Julia Cannon, Suzanne Spooner, Sarah Bressman Cosme, Tracy Mahan, Monica, of course, and myself. And we put together this amazing event. So I wanted to bring Monica on and we're gonna talk about past life regression and doing a group past life regression and how that's beneficial and why. Yeah, so thank you again for joining me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell, tell us a little bit about like what an experience of a group past life regression is like, like what could people expect? Well, I kind of think of it as like a mini QHHT session. So, you know, in a QHHT session, clearly it's going to span, you know, a large portion of the day and it's dedicated to, to one person. And so, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be much more in depth. Mm -hmm. However, you're, it's still your higher self coming through, giving you information that you need and answering your questions. You know, people can have questions mm -hmm. before they begin set intentions mm -hmm. and receive incredible information and healing too. Um, okay. healing can take place in a, in a group regression. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one thing I've noticed when I've done the groups, and I don't know if you've noticed this as well, and I'm not sure if we'll have an opportunity with this in the workshop. Um, we may to share a little bit if we have time, right? But mm -hmm. after the group, when, when we're all done and people will share their experiences, if they like, what often happens is there are similarities within the group. Yes. Like really wonderful synchronicities that are just magical, right? Oh, I even, I mean, sometimes people go to the same place. Yes. I mean, that's, that's so magical and right. yeah. Unity, unity consciousness, right? right? Yeah. Because there's a reason why those people were put together in the room at that time to come together, to share this, this energy, this information, whatever it is that they need together. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's like, one person gets this piece, another person gets this piece. And then when they share it, it's like that piece helped the other person. There's so many things that can happen. Oh yeah. It's really magical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, and the synergy of coming together and doing it together, even when it's online, people are all still synergizing one another in their, in their group regression. And so it's, yep. 
it's impacting the whole. Yeah, it absolutely is. And it might not seem like that, that, that you can do that online, but we can, I mean, just like I can send Reiki long distance Yes, and come together in a group in online setting this intention. Cause that's all, that's all it really is. You know, the intention of being together and having that experience together, that energy will just fly through the matrix and, and connect us all. Yeah. Yeah. Because when, you know, when, when we're in, in 3d mindset, we think that everything has to be in the physical, but really, I mean, I have energy work once a month from healers who are hundred miles away and it's just as powerful. Sometimes it can be even more powerful. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a girlfriend and she'll sometimes call me when she needs some energy work and I'll, you know, start, I'll work on her and I've done it in person and she'll say, so I think sometimes when you're not physically with me, I feel it more strongly. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And, and that can make sense to me in a lot of different ways too. You know, it's kind of like, like picking like a snowball when it goes, it picks up when it rolls down the hill, it'll pick up more snow. It's kind of like the energy I'm seeing the energy do that as it travels, like picking up more and more speed or strength as it, as it moves. Yeah. yeah. And, and in some ways it's almost like we're allowing the, the higher frequencies in even to a higher degree, uh, you know, by, by working in that way. You know what? I love that. I love that at all because it, it is about the allowing, you know, always about the allowing. We got to, we got to allow it. And when we have those intentions that it is going to be stronger. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about how the higher self comes through with people in these group regressions and how they get their information. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really similar to a QHHT session. Um, only you're doing it with a, a, a large group of people. And yeah, so I just guide people to see whatever it is that their higher self wants to bring them. And I ask for the most appropriate uh, experience for them to have. So similar to a QHHT session, it's not, it's not being directed. I'm not telling people what to see. They're just, uh, yeah, they're just the, allowing their higher self um, or the subconscious to show them or bring to them, have them experience whatever it is that they need for their understanding or healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this state that we go into in a group state is more of a light trance state as opposed to a deep, deeper trance state. Um, and you can still get information in this state, right? Of course you can. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because really once once you've gone into that state, you're, and we do it every day. So right. your mind is total, your, your mind is so used to it. You know, it's, it's a very familiar, comfortable space right. and we can, you know, you can really get to the point where you could drop in at okay. any time. You can. And this is neat. Let's talk about this because people, this is one thing people don't really understand is when we use the word hypnosis. You think that it's going to be, you know, the, like the magician on stage type of hypnosis, but actually we are in this state naturally at least twice a day, aren't we? Yes. We don't realize that. Yeah. And I, I mean, we're in hyp hypnotic states throughout the day. And, you know, I always tell my clients that there's nothing to fear it, and it's, and it's nothing to feel that you can't do. You know, I kind of, I almost chuckle when people say they can't be hypnotized because right. We are, we are all hypnotized throughout the day at, you know, different, it's really about going into a different frequency or a, a different wavelength, um, you know, brain waves. Yeah. It's really, it's not, it's not hard. Right. It's the allowing again here, there, that is again, you just are, when you do this, you just allow yourself to let it be, let it go, let whatever comes comes and go with that it's really that simple because something and let, your, yeah. and let your imagination take over yeah because that's, that's, that's all it is right yeah because it's the same you know it's it's coming from the same part of your mind yeah it's and and people you know get kind of hung up sometimes about like oh I'm making this up well we might be making up this whole matrix too yeah 
And I, yeah, I always tell people it's going to feel like you're making it up. It, it has to, because it comes from the same place, like you just said. Right. So right. it's hard to discern that feeling of, I feel like I'm making it up and this is actually a message coming through from my higher self, but that is always what it feels like. And then you just got to get over that and be okay with it and go with it. And once you do, then you learn, oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Right. Oh, and I could, I would never have said that if it were just, you know, me consciously. (laughs) Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It is so incredibly powerful when, and this is what's the most powerful thing about doing things like this is that you start to be able to discern these messages that you're getting, how Mm -hmm. they come and which part of it is your conscious mind and the monkey mind just talking at you. And which part of it is that higher self, that inner being that's talking to you. So these experiences helps you learn that. And I always tell clients too, that they are already totally in contact with their higher self. I mean, they're, they're receiving messages constantly Constantly. and it can be something so simple. It can be, it can be walking out the door and you get a little message in your head that says, Oh, remember to grab that package that you were going to mail. Yeah. That's higher self. It's that, it's that simple. And, and sometimes it's much more profound than that, but I always try to tell people, listen to those little nudges because they're, they're messages. Before we continue on with today's episode, I'd like to take a quick moment to tell you about our sponsor, Talkspace. When it comes to therapy, getting the help you need has never been so simple. Talkspace is like having a therapist in your pocket because you're able to access them from the comfort of your device via audio, video, or text 24-7. Talkspace is the number one online therapy platform and has thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties. I believe it is important, if you're struggling, to realize it's okay to seek therapy. And this is the simplest way I know of to do it, and it's for a fraction of the cost of in-house therapy. Once you join, you can speak with someone that same day. You'll set goals with your therapist, and they hold you accountable and make sure you're really progressing. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use the code POSITIVE to get $100 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's POSITIVE at Talkspace.com. Absolutely. And you know what? We tend to, as humans ignore those little things like, Oh no, no, no. I don't need that. I'll be fine. You know, it's like you hear that little voice and then you argue with it and say no to it. And then it turns out I did need that thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, over and over again. And anytime you kick yourself going, Oh, if I had just listened to, to myself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And that voice, like you said, always with us all the time. It's just that a lot of us don't understand how to listen to it or what it is. And, and we're so used to arguing with it or like we think we're wrong or whatever the case may be. <laughs> yes. but yeah, it's always there, never not there. And everyone has it, right? Yeah. And the great thing about a group regression is that um, you're, it's a little bit like dipping your toe in the water to yeah. see if, you know, if for anyone who is interested in a QHHT session, but they aren't sure that they want to commit a full day and, you know, do the whole thing. I, it's a great way to just test the waters and see what it feels like for you and, and have this really magical experience and receive great, you know, whatever your higher self wants to bring. And, and then it also prepares the person for an actual session. Absolutely. Yeah. Because anytime you do anything like this, it makes it easier the next time. Very much so. Yeah. 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 And you can also, you know, when you do something like this, you can also learn kind of how to do it on your own, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like it's not hard <laughs> to take yourself into a guided state and, and explore and let your imagination run wild. Right. So the benefit to having a guide is that, you know, we're trained to ask 
the specific questions to get you the answers that you need. <laughs> yes, that's that does help a lot. And <laughs> cool. I know, also, you know, like self hypnosis is amazing, and and in a QHHD session, you actually have someone staying present in this reality right. so that you can go as deep as you want you can right. or as deep as you need you know like you can just keep going and going deeper and deeper and like you don't have to keep track of your questions you don't have to keep track of this reality right and that's really valuable especially when you do do a whole QHHT session i don't think that that's possible to keep track of all of that no no <laughs> there's no way yeah because you can train yourself to be in a very deep state of trance where you're getting messages and also asking questions. But for me, in my experience, it's definitely different when you have a guide and you're not having to kind of stay half conscious. You can get a lot, a lot deeper when you can just let go and let your guide take you. Yeah. Right. Big difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never get the the full body vibrations and chills when I do it myself, typically, only when I have a guide. Because <laughs> people get those in the group past life too, don't they? They have the, the feelings and the energetic sensations. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, it's similar to a QHHT session in that, you know, we never know what, how the person's going to experience it. I always tell people, you know, you might have body sensations. You might, you might smell things or taste things. You might, I mean, there's no, all of the senses can be turned on, including the senses that we're not even aware of. Right. Yeah. Often too, you know, when I, if I'm leading a group, I'll look out and there'll be a certain part and I'll notice there'll be a few people crying. They're seeing mm -hmm. something that's, that's extremely, you know, touching or whatever the reason they're crying for. Sometimes it's joy, sometimes it's sadness, whatever it may be, but powerful, whatever powerful. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. Really amazing stuff. Really amazing. And I, I have to say that I was, I was actually surprised at the depth that, that people could, would feel in a group regression. Me too. But really, you know, and the depth of going to places and, and experiencing them. Yes. Yeah. Me too. I, the, the latest group I just did actually after we're done, you know, you write down your experience and you get it all down on paper because it will start to fade like a dream, right? And you, you mm -hmm. kind of forget. So you get it all written down before you talk to anybody, just like you would to write a dream down. And, and everybody was writing for the longest time. They just wrote and wrote and wrote. And I was just so excited. I was so happy to see that they got that much information out of it, you know? Yeah, it is, and it is amazing. Yeah. Very easy, very possible when you allow yourself to just, just go and explore. You'd be really surprised. You'd be really surprised, you know? And I don't know what it is with us humans having such a hard time with allowing the flow. You guys, Monica and I are both wearing our orange shirts today and we commented how we're very flowy in our orange shirts. <laughs> Today. yeah but flow is really what it's about right definitely yeah just allowing it to be whatever it's gonna be oh that's so yeah that's so important allowing you know because you might have someone who came in and they really wanted to see this or they really wanted to go to this this lifetime and that's not allowing the flow that's not allowing that part of yourself that has the, the highest wisdom right. to really bring to you what you need in the moment. Exactly. And it's funny. I always tell my clients this too, because we'll sit and, you know, chat for a while. And sometimes they'll ask me questions. Well, why do you think this? Or, and that's not a question for us to sit here and, and figure out humanly. I mean, we could try to pick it apart and we might get somewhere, you know, but your higher self is going to tell you in a way that we couldn't come up with. And we wouldn't yeah. even think in that way. Their logic is just so intelligent <laughs> and, and the human brain is not that yeah. <laughs> on that level. It's just, not. it's just not. And there's a level of magic that's taking place that, that transcends us just sitting here talking consciously. Yeah. It's very true. This, this level of magic, it's really interesting. And this keeps coming up. This is the second time it came up. So I am going to talk about it now. Um, 
what happens, your higher self knows how you're going to be. Your higher self knows kind of all, all of you and, and knows how to work with you best. And so the other day I had a client and he just was not ready to, to do this. He wasn't, he wasn't able to allow himself, right? When the minute he walked in the door, I knew it. And um, anyway, we tried anyway, but he just, he laid down on the table and immediately within a couple minutes of me starting to put him into the trance state, he started getting extremely hot, extremely hot. So I had to take his blanket off and I was thinking, wow, this is happening already because that's the energy they're working with you already. When you get that, that heat, that, that intense energy. And so he got so hot and then you're supposed to, we take them to a very nice, pretty place, right? A nice, peaceful place. And instead of going to a peaceful place, he went to an awful childhood memory. And so, and then that was the end of our session. <laughs> he sat up and said, I'm done. I'm, I'm out of here, which has never happened to me in my entire career. But what I thought about after he left was, wow, they worked on him in that short period of time that they knew he could stay, that he could stay and handle it. You know, they ran energy through him and they showed him a very, very, very important, significant time in his life. You yes, know? which which he will now work with maybe even just on an unconscious conscious level because absolutely because consciously he just didn't feel ready. Right. Yeah. And so the higher self has these ways. They know us better than we know ourselves. And they, when you put a little effort forth, they do help you in these ways that you don't even understand really what's happening quite in that moment. So it's like you said, very magical and all sorts of things can happen. Oh yeah. I mean, it's really amazing people. And, and in fact, even before the person has a session, the, the magic is already happening because yes. they've set the intention. Yeah. Oh yeah. That little piece of you making that step to help yourself, then they, they step it up and they start, they start sending the messages in a little louder way, a little bit, not that loud, but you know, they turn it up a notch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the other beauty about just doing a workshop like this right like taking the time a whole day to yourself to work on your growth and spiritual involvement it's huge this is something that we really need to all be doing like daily every day so and this, is, this this particular uh workshop is going to be so powerful yes i mean there there are some powerhouses in that every group single, I mean every single woman in this group is an intense powerhouse I mean you guys it's hard for us to explain what it's like when we all get together and the intensity of the energy and the magic and the synchronicity and the manifestation I mean I could go on that happens <laughs> when when we're together and we want to share this with all of you because it's meant to be shared right and the synergy of us coming together as a group with the intention for everyone's enlightenment and yeah. ascension. Yeah. So, Cause yeah. building our light is what it's all about. The more of us that build our light, the greater and greater we all shine. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're doing all, that's why every single one of us does the work that we do so we can help the whole, right? It's such right. a beautiful thing. So come join us so we can make that whole bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yes please join us oh monica thank you so much for joining me it's always such a treat to have you oh i love you so much erica and it's just my joy and my pleasure to be with you here you're the best i'm gonna leave you guys with a song for today or we're gonna leave you with a song for today by symbolico called the ongoing game until next time love you all also, before we queue up today's song, as a quick reminder, don't forget to download the Golden Key audio or ebook as my free gift to you at goldenkey.gift using the Golden Key code POSITIVEHEAD. And please, if you enjoy my gift, leave a positive review on Amazon so others can unlock their lives with the help of the Golden Key as well.
side is about to lose. I'm really serious danger of losing. But managers always to sneak out. So then what's necessary is 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 side is always losing, but never is the loser. So then what's necessary is, 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 What we want is a game where it always seems that the good side is about to lose. I'm really serious danger of losing. But managers always to sneak out. So then what's necessary is a system in which the good side is always winning, but never is the winner. Where the evil side is always losing, but never is the loser. So then what's necessary? Is, 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 is.